around Oz the first time chapter 50 Broom Day 4. Today marks six weeks on the road and of course there is much more of Broom to investigate. At least a little as it is actually against van park rules to clean cars or vans in the park we still have the bucket from the inside clean and I use this clean the windows, but the dirt already in the water makes it virtually impossible to get the outside of the van anything like really clean. I get the message from last night wrong, which I thought we were to breakfast here, so I am hungry unlike the others who have breakfasted. Feeling the pinch, I quickly make a decision on the Indonesian truck, ordering a chicken and cashew dish which when I get it, reminds me of one of mum's stews, only with cashews in it. When we finish having Silver Leader's fishing prowess blunted, we wander out to look for the girls, trusting not to find them with large bags full of purchases. We walk back to the cruiser and look to head back for lunch, but Silver Leader suggests we should take a quick look at the lookout on top of the hill and instead of going right as the GPS wants, we head left. We drive a good percentage of the distance along the beach. This is set for Wednesday, guess that means we are staying two extra days in Broome which is fine by me, and I suspect Robin as well. We get going, Robin is snoring as we leave, and we head towards the jetty at the port. All of a sudden there is a commotion just to the left of me. Earlier we were told we may get an outside table if we were here around 4.30pm, it's now 5.15pm, will we still get a table?